The first whisky we're going to taste is Glenmorangie Sonalta PX. Sonalta, Gaelic word meaning generous. PX, an indication that I've used Pedro Jimenez sherry cas. So this is made using our technique of finishing. All the whisky, 10 years in bourbon barrels, and then a further two years in these giant 550 litre Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. This is a very rich tasting whisky, but a good whisky should always be nice and smooth to the palate. So on the nose, rich flavors of brown sugar, of sultanas, lots of nice spices in there. I'm going to try a little sip. Lovely, soft, very gentle, almost silky, oily texture. Then rich flavors, brown sugar, tangy orange, cinnamon, ginger, dates, all these good things going on. So this is Glenmorangie Sonalta PX, and this was the first whiskey in what we called our private edition range. Now moving on to whiskey number two, it's called Glenmorangie Signet, and it's an assemblage or a blend of about eight different styles of Glenmorangie all mixed together. The recipe changes each year I do it, and the way in which I try and keep it consistent, because it's slightly different each year, is that once the final blend is made, the liquid is then filled back into barrels where it's allowed to marry for six months to tie everything together. The secret ingredient of this, the heart of the recipe, is whiskey made from high roast chocolate malt. Think of coffee beans and the way in which they're roasted. Chocolate malt is malted barley that's been roasted in the same way. On the nose of this product, mocha coffee chocolate. It's almost like you've gone into a Starbucks, in fact. I'm going to coax a little bit more aroma out by adding just a splash of water. It opens up the bouquet. We call this releasing the serpent in the Scotch whiskey industry. And I'm now getting some more familiar Glenmorangie aromas. A little bit of buttery vanilla, some tangy citrus fruit in there. So time to taste. This is a big full flavored whiskey. It's almost unctuous, lots of simmering coffee, some almond biscotti, clove, black pepper, cinnamon. And then once that all goes, goes down, back into familiar Glenmorangie territory, with a combination of vanilla and citrus fruit. So this is Glenmorangie Signet, certainly one of the most ambitious whiskies I've made. Now, for a special treat for me, for the first time ever, I'm going to taste the Heriot Watt University single malt scotch whisky. Nice pale color, I like that. It suggests that it's the natural color from the oak barrels in there. At full strength, it's fresh and floral. Makes me think of a meadow in the summertime. You're getting a nice hint of flowers, maybe some apples in the background. If I listen to it, I can almost hear the bees buzzing. Once again, I'm going to just cut it with a bit of water. Just try and explore all of the intricacies of flavor here. Oh yeah, lovely floral notes in there like geranium or rose, something like that. This is a very Moorish aroma. I just want to dive into the glass here. Again, quite a gentle flavor. Something ever so slightly oily, slightly grainy. There's a nice hint of the cereal, the malted barley base that this has been made with. A little bit of honey in there. Some fruits like apple and pear and then maybe a hint of aniseed or licorice in the aftertaste. So this is a very soft whiskey. It's a whiskey that I would take my time and sip and savor. So to me, a sipping whiskey. Slange.